hi everyone i hope you all are fit and fine so welcome to my channel and today in this channel we are going to discuss about the point of differences between the two terms the one is lysosome and the other is ribosomes okay so both the terms we discussed in biology and in the cell chapter okay so both are the cell organelles lysosome is also one of the cell organelle and ribosomes is also one of the cell organelles and what we have to do today is we have to discuss the point of differences between the two terms between the two organelles so let us start so the first point is on the basis of the nature of the membrane okay so the lysosomes are membrane bound organelles okay means they lysosomes are covered by the membrane that is why they are known as membrane bound organelle but on the other hand in case of ribosomes technically ribosomes are not membrane bound and there is no separation from them and the other solid organelles okay so means they are not generally membrane bound but when ribosomes make certain proteins they become membrane bound organelles attaching themselves to the endoplasmic reticulum so see it carefully technically ribosomes are not membrane bound and there is no separation between them and the other cell organelles but during the process of protein synthesis certain ribosomes become membrane bound organelles attaching themselves to the endoplasmic reticulum okay so i will show you this is the picture of a lysosome you can see that lysosome is covered by a membrane okay so this is the here this is the membrane you can see this is the membrane and here if we cut in transfer section so you can see that this outer thing is the membrane of the lysosome but in case of ribosomes you cannot see the membrane you only see the membrane when it is involved in the protein synthesis okay so this is the difference on the basis of nature of membrane then on the basis of occurrence so ly lysosomes are less common in plants however they are quite abundant in the animals so this is very important point that lysosomes are less common in case of plants but they are quite abundant in case of the animals now what about ribosomes ribosomes almost all living organisms have the ribosomes whether it is a plant cell or it is a animal cell so now eukaryotes have 80s ribosomes while prokaryotes have the smaller 70s ribosomes now what does this s means here this is the sedimentation coefficient sedimentation coefficient in swedberg's unit so this is like how fast the subunits of the ribosome will sediment okay so for the case of in case of the eukaryotes the sedimentation coefficient is 80 is 80 s okay and in case of the prokaryotes the sedimentation coefficient is 70 s so the for the prokaryotes the ribosomes are smaller and for the eukaryotes the ribosomes are comparatively larger in size okay so this is the point on the basis of occurrence now moving forward on the basis of the function so what is the function of li lysosomes lysosomes break down old or malfunctioning cells this organel also destroy foreign pathogens such as bacteria and virus okay and this organel lysosome is also known as suicidal bags why they are known as suicidal bags because they break down old or the malfunctioning cells okay that is why they are known as suicidal bags and also this organelle also destroys the foreign pathogens such as the bacteria the viruses and all okay this is the function of lysosomes now what is the function of ribosomes so as discussed as we have discussed in this point also ribosomes are responsible for the protein synthesis okay they are also very integral in the process of translation so we have different processes in in the cell like the first process is dna replication then after the replication there is transcription and after the transcription there is translation 
okay so in case of replication the dna replicates and in case of transcription the dna converts into the rna and in case of translation that rna will helps that mrna will helps in the formation of proteins okay so that is written their ribosomes are responsible for the protein synthesis and they are also integral in the process of translation because in case of translation the mrna will form the proteins so the whole the whole of the process is known as translation so this is about the difference between lysosome and the ribosomes and you can see the picture here also this is the 2d picture of lysosome and this is the 3d picture or okay so here you can see that these are the enzymes or the protein present this one this one all these are the enzymes or the proteins that helps in the destruction of the foreign pathogens okay so i hope this is clear to you now if you want to see such more videos you can tell me in the comment section which topic you want me to discuss so thank you so much and for watching the video have a nice day everyone